Hey YouTube, welcome in to my first time playthrough. I'm Shenanigans, you can call me Shan, and this is what you can expect coming up in this episode. Shepard brought all these aliens on board and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. <laughs> Proud. I trust you implicitly. Aww. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Interesting. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't ever see I catch I drop. If I ask him to reinstate my specter status, am I putting him in a worse position than what I've already put him in? What's up, everybody? I'm Shenanigans, you can call me Shan, and this is my second episode of my Mass Effect 2 blind playthrough. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't expect that. <laughs> um, I am super excited, but I'm also like, I don't know what to think, honestly. Um, She's been dead for two years. She's now in the hands of Cerberus. She has this new ship that she should be excited about, but she has no friends except for Joker. And she has this elusive man and a little bit of Miranda telling her what to do, which I don't love. Uh, if you saw my first playthrough with Sin, uh, my blind playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, she was very aggressive with the council. I think that maybe she, I don't know how she made the military and hate authority figures, but uh, maybe because these guys seem like such pricks, that's why she's so aggressive. Um, but, so I have been thinking about it. I don't think, I know that they told me that the first thing I should do is um, get that professor, um, Morden, I think was his name, the whole time they were saying it, all I can think of was that Jared Leto movie. I haven't seen it, but there was a memes about it. It's like, it's morbid time. Not the same thing, but that's what I was thinking. Um, but I, I don't think I'm going to follow their, their suggestion. I'm going to do my own thing. I guess I'm going to go talk to Joker and then maybe take a look at our journal and kind of see what assignments we have. There was a lot of stuff that popped up a lot um so i'm assuming there's a lot of things for us to do oh edie's up here uh well let's talk to joker first nominal to profile what okay does he just like randomly say stuff now how if i if i stand here sometimes i get the urge to turn off the internal compensators and pull a crazy ivan you who's know? crazy ivan what is that? What does that mean? <laughs> um, they didn't do this in the first game, right? Like, I'm not crazy. You know what pisses me off? Calling this the cockpit. Alliance ships have bridges. Asari have cockpits. Oh, wait, no, they don't. Oh my god. Is that, what is that? Wait, what? what? No, they don't. Is that a joke about the, what is that ship called? The S engine? I was thinking of installing some lava lamps, oh maybe God. Christmas lights for ambience. What do you think? I mean, okay, okay. I could probably sit here and listen to him forever. I do love Seth Green um, as a voice actor, but let's let's talk to Can him. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. Aww. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Oh. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Oh. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Oh, Joker. Ooh, I have, like, oh, that outfit. The ship is just a copy, I think. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, such a downer. Aww. Womp womp. <laughs> oh, okay. Does that give me XP? No. Okay. Not like, I guess, in the first game. I guess we'll talk yes, to her. Shepherd. 
I want to know more about you. Them? Her? Do you have them? a specific inquiry? Your job? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Okay, additional functions? Restricted functions? Yeah. Like what? Yeah. I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Ooh. Some of my hardware is kept offline. Pet. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Weird. Cyber warfare? Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Mm. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. It's impressive. Sounds incredibly useful. Yeah. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> um, yeah, monitoring devices. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested Spyware. most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Another topic? Let's discuss something else. Ready. Ooh, tell me about Cerberus. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. Building the north. Ooh, structure. How does Cerberus I just saw replicate that. the most the advanced next. warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that That's... question. Why? <sighs> okay. Structure? How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Ah. Uh, how many cells are there? So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. How many times am I going to get that answer? Probably a lot. God, a block? What do you mean? Although I have less control than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. Mm. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. So, resources? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Okay. I mean, <laughs> let's discuss something else. Uh, ready. Okay. Let's talk about you, I guess. Oh, crap. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? This, you and Joker? What does that mean? How are you getting along with Joker? Oh. Mr. Moreau does not trust me. <laughs> it offends him that I installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Norman you did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that was funny. Uh, your name? Why are you named Edie? Yeah. Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is oh. an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Okay. Okay, um... Ishan, what does that mean? Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Another topic? Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? Oh, Joker. This is the bridge oh. where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. That's all for now. <laughs> Logging you out, Shepard. Hey, interesting. I guess I also... I don't want to talk... Oh, let's see. I don't want to talk to Miranda. I know that that's probably wrong, but... I just don't want to. I don't trust her. I don't. All right. Is 
swear I thought I saw something. What did I, oh, I almost pushed J, but <laughs> that's not a thing anymore. So let's go journal. All right, stop the collectors. Okay, and then stop the collectors. Okay, Master Thief. Sumigoto is not the most famous thief in the game. Ooh, she's the best, okay. Trained in the arts of stealth and infiltration, she has acquired artifacts and information. Interesting. She's awaiting rendezvous with Shepard on the Citadel in the Zakir Award. Okay, so the Citadel, that's one. Laid Masani, expert in both personal and small unit combat, unparalleled mercenary soldier and bounty hunter. Oh, so is this like my Rex replacement? Mercenary and bounty hunter, isn't that what Rex did? Okay. He's he's currently awaiting pickup on Omega. Like, oh. But maybe it's still worth contacting them. How do I contact them? What do I do? Oh, go to the Citadel. Wait, they said what um who else was at the Citadel? This person? Okay. Kus uh Kasumi. I think yeah, Dr. Morden Solis. That's where they want me to go. He is currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. Warlord. Brilliant and brutal Krogan. Oh, who fought in the Krogan rebellions. What? What is that? Rumored familiarity with collector technology. Okay. Millennia of combat and... Wow. Okay, that seems important. Archangel. Small unit tactical expertise. Omnitool expert and noted sniper. Okay. Archangel is a mercenary commander whose operations are noted for technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He's responsible for high profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega. Wait, what else was on Omega? The professor? And something else. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Okay. And then the convict. All right, so it's not as overwhelming as I thought. Exceptional biotic ability, no criminal background currently in custody. Oh, fun. <laughs> Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic ever encountered. Ooh, wow. Very little additional data regarding Jack is available. Very little data regarding Jack is available, except that the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. All right, I think what I would do if I'm going by what I think Shep, like Sinclair Shepard would do, I think that this is where she would go. And then she would likely go to maybe the Citadel. I mean, some of you have been like, I'm interested to see what you're gonna do about the council. And maybe I just need to face the music. Plus, I don't want to go to um, this this yet. I'm not going to do it first because they told me to and I'm just not going to do it. So maybe we go there or the crash site. And then after that, check the status of your team. Normal. Okay. What are all these spaces? I'm guessing this is going to be filled up eventually. That's cool. Loyalty normal, pool, okay. Uh, upgrades, no. Unread messages. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top and, oh. Only fairies be allowed to speak for yourself? The heck does that mean? What have they, what have they been hearing? Deal struck with Zaid Masani. Hmm. All right. Maybe I come back and I 
Lost contact with search. In the ah, <gasps> Normandy crash site located. That's what I want to do, I think. Commander Shepard, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage. <sighs> we thought this news might be important to you. We also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument. <laughs> to be built on the site of this ship's final resting place, we'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on Normandy, on the Normandy. If you find any sign of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. That's gonna be sad, isn't it? I already feel like I might cry. Okay. Ugh. Are all these from the Elusive Man? No, that one's from- Oh, that's from Admiral Hackett! <gasps> I was so worried. I, I I did wonder like what would happen. Um, oh wait, I saved him on this one. Or I ooh. What if I don't have him in my row ship? Anyway. Got super distracted. Um, so this is from the elusive man was and this is from just realized I said Counselor Anderson. That is so cool. Okay, let's let's read this because this is also what I think I'm gonna do. At great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief, Kasumi Goto? and convince her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She's unequaled at stealth and infiltration and her skills will prove val invaluable in your mission. It differs from the usual. Silence is golden. Oh crap. Oh, okay. All right. Wait, is there anything else there? Okay. Then, should I? Alright, let's go to the map and we're gonna. What is all this? <laughs> okay. What? Oh my god, I. <laughs> what is this? Wait. Okay, what does like 0% mean? Hot mass relay jump. Probes. Professor. Okay, that's not where I want to go. Wait, where's the citadel? How do I know how to get there? I'm gonna go here first and then I guess I'll figure. What is unexplored? What? Okay. anything else? Do I need to buy it? What did that say over there? Buy fuel somewhere? Didn't that say that? Ooh, why is that? That's unexplored. That's a big planet. Oh, fuel depot. That's what it said. Do I need fuel? Probably. I don't... Okay. 50? That doesn't seem like a lot. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, I definitely... Wait, I probably need to go back and buy more, don't I? Look, because look how much it's using. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hang on. Okay, I think I definitely need to go back and buy more, right? That, oh my god, I barely moved and I'm using so much fuel. Do I have to buy a thousand? How expensive is that? What is that, 10 of 30? All right, let's, let's, I guess, fill up all the way. It was using so much. Okay, now let's go back. Is that unexplored too? Very cool. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Controller shakes, that's super funny. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go here. Let's see what this is like. Oh, I was waiting for it to do something. I don't know why.
Explore. Locate a suit. Locate a suitable place for the Normandy Monument. Goosebumps right now. Like the dog tags of fallen crew members to return to fame. This is awful. Look at this. It's just. So if we put a monument up. Uh, wait, what's that? This war saw it pop up. Oh, there it is. Should I shoot it? Is that a bad idea? Huh. Is there anything in it? Oh, there's a dog tag in it. Carlton Tux, okay. Down there, okay. Everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the Mako. I hated that thing at the beginning, but. We don't know who shot them down, right? Shot us down. We have, we still haven't figured that out. Oh. This is where I could place the monument. I okay, let's... do I have journal? Wait, normally crash site. doesn't tell me. Wait, now I can't place it? Oh god, did I mess something up? Oh no. Oh no, I messed something up, didn't I? Data pad. Ooh. Spoke to commander about... I corrupt all these damn aliens aboard the Alliance. Most advanced ship. I don't trust them, especially unrecoverable data. That damned Asari and a Corian. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? What? With the Corian, it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I. 
something babysit my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. Oh, probably I wouldn't let her babysit my children. For a while now, and I'm taking a look back at past entries in this journey. How blind I was at the time I came on this ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Is this from Presley? Presley is... Oh, it is. I literally just saw that it said Navigator Presley. Okay. Did it always say that? And I just missed it? Okay. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud. I'm proud to say, Rob. Oh my god, get it together! to say I'm guessing that was supposed to I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna be able to do this <laughs> I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get through it okay I'm proud to say I would die for any member of this crew regardless of what world they were born on <gasps> okay <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I'm scared that if I... Oh, shoot. I should go ahead and place it because I will forget how to get back here, I think. Okay, so I can still do it. Okay. I'm glad that, um, she's here by herself. I'm, I'm glad that she can, like, kind of just process <laughs> all of these things by herself without anyone else, like, looking, being a part of it. How many do I have? 8 of 20. I thought it was gonna glitch for a minute. Oh. Oh my goodness. Talitha, wait, that's not the same Talitha from the I Remember Me, is it? Surely not. <gasps> oh, another cutscene. Oh. Rosamond Draven. Good. Shuttle. Oh, that's my shuttle. Okay. <laughs> I. You know what I do wish, actually? I wish that Joker had been able to come out here. This is so sad. But it's probably needed for her, right? Like... He would want to see, I think, right off, this should probably be the first thing that she does. Oh, I can't go up there. Okay. I 
hate the way they breathe in your ear. It's like one of my least favorite things. Stop breathing in my ear. Like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm breathing in your ear. <laughs> So if we're putting a monument up, then how many people know that we're back? Like everybody? Is it like a known thing? <laughs> what is that noise? What was that? What was that noise? What the fuck just happened? What are we, why, why did that happen? Someone tell me why that happened. Oh my gosh. I have 14. Scared the crap out of me. Mass Effect really said, I want to make you cry today. I really just think you should just cry. Oh my god, look at this. It actually, I look how ruined it is. Oh my god, Joker would be a fucking disaster if he was here. Do I tell, do I get to like talk to him about it? Do I get to like go back and tell him? I need to get it together. This is so sad, but also probably so healthy for her to do. Wait, wait yeah, I already got that. She probably needed to see this. Missing one. Where am I missing it? Where have I not been? I think I've been in there. one more to find. Is it over here? No. Wait, there it is. Okay. Now let's head back to the shuttle. Click here.
A monument has been placed at the last resting place of the SSV Normandy on Alkira, and the families of all missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. 100 credits. Element zero. Okay. Jeez. Oh, oh, that's right. I do have squad points. I feel like I have a lot, don't I? All right. Let's see. Hmm. I have eight. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Did you... I think... Who's your health? Ooh, and Paragon and Renegade scores? I probably need this, right? Should I... Can I... Can I only need two? What do I do? Do I max this out first? <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's what I decided to do. <laughs> Alright, uh, and then maybe... Adrenaline rush, or do I save it to max out this? I don't know. Disruptor ammo, the same munition pulses, electromatically disrupting shields. Ooh, this sounds good, right? Maybe I should do at least one level of this. And boost your combat awareness. I don't know. <laughs> We're just doing stuff. <laughs> I should save though. Uh, new save. All right. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh. Okay. I wonder if I should talk to her. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. Okay. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. Oh, she's and pretty nice. Say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Uh, pleasure's mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. <laughs> Anything else? Let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Investigate. What do you do? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Okay. Is, oh no, I don't want to say is that all, right? Because then it will, will it take away this option? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Oh. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. Wow. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You're a counselor? You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Good you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> what else would you like to know? Uh, investigate. Ooh, what do you think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Ooh, does Cerberus hate aliens? It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she <laughs> loved cats too. I okay. <laughs> love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar, that isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. <laughs> you are very loving. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. That's a very positive attitude. Okay. What can I say? I'm a people person. Oh. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Is there anything else? Are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. Mm. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Oh, wow. She... <laughs> you're putting a lot of hope in <laughs> into this shepherd when I am making the decisions. Because 
We all know the decisions are a little chaotic here. Uh, we won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. Aww. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Interesting. Oh, God! <laughs> I didn't ever see I can I'd drop you. <laughs> Definitely not gonna say that, but it is funny. Um... Maybe, like... Grant... Like, where's Kaden? I mean... But wait. I got a letter from Admiral Hackett, right? Admiral Hack is, a, is Alliance. The elusive man said, what did he say? He said, Caden had been promoted, I think, but his, his file was classified. So he's still with the Alliance. So would Admiral Hackett not tell him? And why can't I contact him? That's so weird to me. But, um, you know what? Maybe we just do like, I mean, I've been dead for two years. Like a little bit of flirting won't. It's not like a big deal, right? Right? I mean, I think I deserve it after two years. I didn't raise you. I'm going to do more <laughs> than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing <laughs> thought. Anything else oh, you'd God. like to talk about? Um, no. I better go. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be blessed one a little. Oh, my goodness. All right. I should, I don't know. I'm like, maybe I should go and talk to my inconvenience, but I really only have Jacob and Miranda because they haven't done anything yet. Oh, you know what? This is what I'll do. I'll go get uh, Kasumi. If, how do I get to the Citadel though? I, oh, wait, no, no, no. I don't want to use any more fuel than I accidentally need to. Wait, how do I, that's not what I do. What do I do? How do I get to where I need to go? Wait, what's this? Okay, how do I get back? Oh, leave orbit? No. How do I get to where I need to go? I don't, I don't understand. How do I get out of here? Oh God. <laughs> Oh, this is it. Is this it? Is this how I leave? Wait. Wait. What is this? What are all these? Uh. No, no, don't move. Because I don't want to use any fuel. Okay, let's. Eh. Shoot. Yes, I do have to use fuel. Maybe I go here? How do I know where the citadel is, though? Fuel reserves at 50%. Do I need to use a mass relay? Let's see. Because I don't see... Oh my god, I have to go buy more fuel, I think. Right? Oh, I'm going to be spending so much money. Especially because I get super distracted and I'll just start doing this. I'll just start doing this on accident. Just wasting fuel. Is this how I do it? Is this how I go to... It is! Maybe? Wait, no. Uh, checked over. Rosalie. Citadel. Citadel. That's where I... In the Master Thief. Okay. This map. Very complicated. Well, at least I can get fuel here. That's good. Oh, and I'm not spending fuel. Why am I not spending fuel? Interesting. Supposedly, constru <laughs> Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is comfortable. Are you ready to face the music? I don't know if I'm ready to face the music, but I guess I will. You know what? You just, sometimes you just have to face the consequences and that's what we're gonna go do. We live and die by our choices here. No saves coming and we just deal with it. Seems 
rebuilt or maybe this part wasn't damaged. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. Am I? Oh, I take a squad with me. Well, squad selection. The only two that I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's who'll be going with me. I wonder what. Oh, I can spend points on them. Let's see. Oh, entire squad receives a bonus. How many? I should. Overload and warp are really. What if I. What if I go. Let's do this. And then. Maybe this, and then we do Mass Effect field damages targets, detonates any biotic power. Okay. And then I know overload was really important at the start. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but I did, and it's a thing that I did, so you know what? We're just... <laughs> oh, is this the same thing? Oh, it only boosts his, though. Okay. But that seems important. Alright, and then I definitely think we need to do some here, right? And... Ooh! Is this kind of like what... Is this kind of like what Liara had at the... End of my bro ship run? Where she was just really... I mean, she was fucking everybody up. It was very nice. And I had never run around with her before. So maybe I do like, oh, sh but maybe I do this instead. I think this is, oh, I don't know. I need to look up a guide. I'm afraid to look up a guide, but I need to look up a guide. Because I'm afraid if I look up a guide, it's going to be like, you need to, I don't know level up all of this before this mission for this mission or whatever and it's gonna like <laughs> it's gonna spoil it um so if you would like to be the kindest and sweetest person ever and can give me a spoiler free tips on leveling or point me in the direction of sites that might offer spoiler free leveling that would be wonderful you would be the nicest human being Commander ever. Shepherd, enter the password and receive a free gift. <gasps> oh, wait, the silence is golden, right? Is that what it said? Wait, is this here? Wait. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Okay, right? This is what I do, right? Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Cut the crap. <laughs> silence is golden. Silence is golden. Oh, she is Good not enthused. Good to find me too, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Have you been briefed? Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I wow. guess. Wow. Uh, why the secrecy? What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Mm. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. Okay. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. You and s Ooh, you sure? <laughs> Can I say it? Like, I'm asking her, like, are you sure I'm the real Commander? What makes you ooh. so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Interesting. You and Cerberus. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. They just have, like, unlimited reserves of money, don't they? Who's funding it all? Is it, like, is it, like, donors? Or is it... How do they have all that money? What deal? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. Hmm. And I'm planning to get it back. 
Can I heist? Ooh. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. Okay. I need time to nail down the details anyway. Okay. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Evening wear, huh? What's that gonna look like? Okay, Donovan Hawk. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great and guy. That's her partner? His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. Oh, expecting trouble? I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Investigate a uh, gray box. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, <gasps> secret codes, illicit information. What? This one in particular belonged to my partner. Oh, Katie so Okuda. that's her partner. We worked together for a long time. Okay. Before Hawk killed him. Okay, okay. Kasumi's partner. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Interesting. <sighs> Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... Oh my god, she's above me! <laughs> got him uh, what did it say? What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. Mm. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I see why you want it back. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Mm. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. We'll take care of it. That's what Cerberus promised you. We'll get it done. Mm. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. <laughs> I like her. Okay, she's interesting. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Okay. All right. Wait, what? What was that? That was kind of neat. All right, so is there... Let's see, how do I... Found my shortcut to open this up on my. How do I get to go to the Citadel? Is there not one that said like meet with Anderson? What's the Overlord? Oh, okay. Hmm. I guess maybe I need to go to. I can't remember where the Citadel's at. Oh shit. Can I not go to these places? Do I not have... Okay, I guess I just have to run around. Okay. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. Oh, no. Why? I don't remember... Oh, man. Really, a lot's changed in two years. Let's listen to what this guy said. This recruits is a 20-kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress-class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38-kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps oh going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If... Obviously security has tightened since you were last yeah. here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think... Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. 
Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. Technically, I was. <laughs> well, I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Yeah. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. Okay. He's just past the scanners on your right. You're here? You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you asked. What? I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Press R to show me. And I am pressing R, right? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Identifying me. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Can you fix it? Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Oh, man. <laughs> but of course, it's not simple. So how it's about I simple. just press this button right here, and we call it done? Seems a bit irregular. I don't really care if it's legal or not. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. Sounds like a lot of... There. <laughs> I just saved you about nine days of running definitely, uh, That said, you should Garris's head up outlook. to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who got them their jobs. How do I get there from here? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Did it here? change? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Okay, so now I can access that shuttle then. Okay. That's my plan. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. So I'm... Um, yeah. Hmm. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Is this guy gonna be important? Because... <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, there's so many things I can ask him. Sovereign's attack. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. Mm. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. It's crazy that the Keepers are still around, so I wonder if... Are they, like, completely... I don't even know what to think. I don't know. I want to know, I want to know how the keepers, keepers work. Are they, I want to know if, is there still a way that the Reapers can get to the Keepers? Because, I mean, aren't they a little bit of a threat? No? Yes? Uh, abusing suspects. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little. This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. Zakira Ward? Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Humans in CSEC? Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped <sighs> turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. <sighs> Okay. I should be going. Yeah. You need anything else? Let me know. Oh my god. It looked like down in the portraits where Jacob and Miranda's face are. I thought that they were like on her leggings. I was like, what the heck is that? All right. So 
I can't go through there. Unfortunate. Okay. I go back here and then I find an iPad. Right? That's what I do. Yeah. Because I should now have access to it, right? Wow. And I'm going to Presidium. I face the music. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. Good to see you again. <laughs> it's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. Oh. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. I like his outfit. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. You were the right choice. Nobody said this was going to be easy. But I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. <laughs> As if Udina has people skills. I remember him being a ripe old jerk. All right, what is I'm this about? I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Did the Alliance abandon me? Did they? Like, they really did? I mean, I guess I'll say... I'm trying to save humanity? Oh no. I want to say this. This would be what I would want to say. But... <laughs> we try to stay away from neutral options now, so... Yeah, I guess I'm trying to save humanity. Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. <sighs> I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them. But you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. I need your help? The Reapers are moving again, but not through the Geth. It's the Collectors. They're behind the colony abductions. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. What about all the evidence? Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean yeah. VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. Wow, I... Okay. You're saying it's hopeless? It's not like you to give up, Anderson. No. I haven't given up. But I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title, if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. He won't win any popularity contests, so if I ask him to do this, if I ask him... If I ask him to reinstate my... Spectre status. Am I putting him in a worse position than what I've already put him in? I feel like I would be with him saying that. Like, I'm not going to ask that of Captain Anderson. I'm not. I've already put him in a really shitty position and I don't need to make things worse for him. So let's just say 
I'm gonna say it's a relic I don't need, but I I'm saying it because I don't want to put him in a bad position, not because it's a renegade choice. I think I made my opinion of the council's blessing pretty clear last time around. Keep it. Figured as much, but I had to offer. Doesn't feel like I'm able to give you the help you deserve. It's all up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. So sad. Oh, Anderson, God. We need to talk about... <sighs> Shepard. What are you doing here? <laughs> Great. I don't need this. <laughs> I kind of want to say this. Because I've always been so aggressive with the Council. And I want to keep being aggressive with the Council. I'm going to say it. I don't need this. I got this. a long list of people I didn't want to see. And your name is right at mm -hmm. the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. <laughs> Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? <laughs> of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. I love it. We're both giving him Sorry shit. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put no, him in his place. No, all the time. All the time. Put him in the place. In his place. It didn't bother me. Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. Investigate. Okay. The. Da, 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 da. <gasps> I can't ask about Caden. Let's do that. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus. I'm sorry. Okay. Feels so bad. Like. It's like she's fallen from grace, you know? She used to be a trusted, not member of Anderson's inner circle, but at least someone he trusted. And now it's really sad. Again, it's like she has nobody, nobody. And Kanan's on some secret mission. So, okay, did you guys not tell? Whatever, okay. Uh, damage to the Citadel. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. Okay. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. <laughs> we'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, okay. they've made it nice. seamless. We never mm. really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources but we'd never get done without them. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. The remains of Sovereign. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Wow. The war with the Geth? Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Oh, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. All right, now finally I'm going to ask him. How have you been? Oh, please don't cry. Stop it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm emotional. How have you been? How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. 
It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. <laughs> Fighting the good fight, right? Not how he ended up. <sighs> not how he thought he'd spend his twilight years. Oh my, did I make? I don't know. <sighs> We're not regretting our decisions. We're just living and dying by our choices. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. You should come with me. Oh, he's gonna say no, isn't he? He's gonna be like Tolly and be like, no. <laughs> Forget Udina and the council. Join my crew and help me stop the collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Aww. Just do me a favor and be careful. Oh, yeah. You can't trust Cerberus. For sure. No, I totally agree. <laughs> Should I? Do I need to? I do need to get it together. That's what I need to be doing. <sighs> okay. I don't know why that made me so sad. I think it's just, I feel like, again, she's with these people that she doesn't trust. And because she's with these people that she doesn't trust, people don't trust her. And it makes me so sad for her. And it feels like, I know this is not the case. I know this is not the case. It's probably not the case. But it feels like none of her old squad. Ew, wait, what? Oh, I can't go anywhere else? That's it? <gasps> Oh, wow, they said, get the fuck out of here, I guess. Well, um, but it's like her old crew doesn't care. And I know that's probably not the case, but none of them have, like, contacted her. We ran into Tali on accident. I know, they all have important stuff going on, I know, but I was dead for two years. <laughs> Why don't they love me anymore? <laughs> Two years news. since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit have reached another impasse. The Asari Republics has ceded its share of defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by dissidents from former Council races. What? While no formal statement has been issued, the Council has made formal information requests of the Salarian Special Tasks Group. That is... Okay. Charles Saracino, leader of the Terra Firma Party and former Alliance government <laughs> candidate, has pled guilty to tax evasion. Wow. He is in custody pending sentencing. Okay. Uh, so I guess he's no longer running. Nice. Captain Hannah Shepard has apparently turned down an Admiral Star and will remain in command of the Orizaba. Wait, is that... Is that... The captain deemed her promotion to Admiral a political ploy and said that she could best honor her child's legacy by captaining a ship. That's my mom. Is that Shepard's mom? told my mom okay okay i really have to get it together okay this was a lot i don't know why i didn't expect all this to just be like oh this is how i go okay do i have anything else here that i need to do convict so okay all right, I guess I just go back to the Normandy. All right, let's go talk to all of our crew members. No Wait. messages for you, Commander. Oh, okay. Should I? Does she have anything new to say? Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. <laughs> but I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Oh God. I liked it. <laughs> You're very charming, Kelly. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh, it's all the same. What are your responsibilities? Okay. 
I'll keep you notified of any messages, or if any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make you... Okay. That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Let's see. I haven't even explored this ship. I don't... Oh, to... Okay, before I explore the ship, should I talk to Joker, maybe? I don't know. I feel like I missed a lot of interaction with him on my first playthrough because I would just forget that he's up there. Let's see if he has anything to say. Commander. The mission? So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, the squad. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to yeah, kill people. Yeah, I kind of feel the same it's way. It's just my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, there's really no need to go spreading it around. <laughs> I love Joker so much. He has such good energy. Such good little brother energy. It makes me so happy. Oh, the good old days. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What about the old crew? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. Aww. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. How are things? I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered <laughs> and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I don't really know what to say here. I guess I'll say this. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Oh. Until I find I don't a really soldering mind gun. It. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Joker. Understood. Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. You can't be saying all That's that. It for now. See you, Commander. My goodness, Joker. All right, so now I think I do need to explore. I haven't. I haven't really looked. Why is that door red? Does that mean I. What is that? Mm. Why is it red? Why is it red? Why is it red? A I can't go in there. Oh! Okay. All right, what's behind this door? Where does this go? Weapons locker. Oh, Jacob's here, okay. Hmm, interesting. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I wanna say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. <laughs> Bringing you wasn't my choice. <laughs> ah, I think that's a funny answer. I kind of want to say it, but I don't want to. Because I know that... I don't... Jacob doesn't seem like a Cerberus guy. I do trust him more than I trust Miranda. But, you know... <laughs> He wasn't my choice. <laughs> it's a risky assignment. You may change your tune <laughs> if we end up like the original Normandy. Hmm. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Hmm. Cerberus actions? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with yeah, good reason. Yeah, thank you for you admitting it. More checkered past. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. I don't care how they're remembered. Or will be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Hmm. 
Glad to have you aboard. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. He seems like a good dude. Why the fuck did he join up with Cerberus? What's through here? Let's see. Can't go in there. Why not, though? A scientist is required oh. to use the oh, technical okay. laboratory. What's this? I guess I'll talk to Edie. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Quantum what? I've never <laughs> heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum Is this quantum how he bits. monitors us or whatever? Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. Mm. That's all for now. Lobby How does Cerberus have so much money? Are they stealing it? Is it donors? Are they like funded by Nepo babies who had money anyway? <laughs> like some old money? Uh, do I get experience points? Should I talk to Edie in here or do I save that? Oh my god, for a second that looked like a cat and I got super excited. I was like, oh, we have a little, we have a little pet? That would be so cool. I would love that. Let's see, where else can I go? No messages for you, Commander. You, Kelly? All right. Captain's cabin. Okay, this is where I'm at right now. <gasps> oh, I need to go there for sure. Okay, let's go to the my cabin, I guess, first, and then we'll go to the cruise quarters. Let's see. What's my cabin look like? All right, I guess I'll talk to Edie really quick. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. How you know what my that personal said, taste is? This space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. I have a fish tank? But I don't have any fish. Why don't I have any fish? Interesting. Alright, what's over here? Private terminal. Aww. That's my boyfriend who doesn't care about me, clearly. Or maybe he doesn't know. I don't know. Is that not something they would tell him? I don't have two wine glasses out. Who would, Who was I drinking wine with? I would like to know. Do I have visitors? Did I have visitors? What have I been doing up in here? What have I been doing up in here? <laughs> it's customized. Oh, I wanted to do this. Yeah, I saw this earlier and I forgot. I got so... Uh, no. Uh, no. Mm -mm. She would not wear that. That's what Dr. Chalkwas wears, right? I don't like that. Um, This looks kind of like PJs to me. I don't know why. I wish I could change the colors. I don't... I don't love that, it's Cerberus. I think I like... This is what Dr. Chakwas wears. I think I wanna wear this then. Why? Okay. Uh, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad either. All right, where did I say I was gonna go? The cruise quarters, right? Miranda and Kasumi. Uh, dun, 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 dun. What's around here? Oh, wow. 
Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> okay. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. This is the area that Caden used to be in. There any oh, there's Miranda's office. Okay. I can talk to him, so let's do that really quick, Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Mm -hmm. You need anything? Well, I didn't ask him. Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Okay, how can I help? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the oh, Citadel. Man. Forget I mentioned it. I wish I'd talked to him before I'd gone. I... Oh, well, give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Investigate responsibilities. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. Okay. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. So he's like I make a sure they're all, all clean and running. Yeah, he's like a jack of all trades. Janitor in. I don't want to ask that. Why is it down there? I'm not gonna. I feel like if I ask that, it's gonna be like an asshole thing or something. I don't know. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity <laughs> to crush puckers. these collector vermin. <gasps> Only Lord Cerberus Jesus. knows that. Joining Cerberus. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. Oh. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Okay. Wow. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. <laughs> Back to work. Okay. All right. So this is Miranda's office. Where does everybody sleep? Where did they sleep? Oh, literally right there. That's neat looking. Look at that. That's cool. All right. Let's see. Commander, what can I do for you? Can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Yeah. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Mm, I want to know about you. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> You're gucky. <laughs> you certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason Wait. I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. So she said even my looks, so like her looks were also modified? Let's, let's, ask, let's ask this. Yeah. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. <laughs> So you're perfect. <laughs> Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Mm. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. 
Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. I don't know what to think about her. I, I just... Okay, where would Kasumi be? <gasps> no! That's Dr. John <gasps> Hi! Commander Hi. Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Why are you here? I don't want to... I want to say it's good to see you, but I also... Can I say, if I say this, will I not be able to say this later? Shoot, I don't know what to do. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, <laughs> here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Let's investigate, uh, leaving the Alliance. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Fly? Colonial military mm -hmm. life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines. The creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Joining Cerberus? You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. Yeah. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. <laughs> I trust you, Commander. Odds of survival? There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Wait, what? Are you prepared for that? Why? I've been through the reclaiming mm. of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. <gasps> Do you need anything? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll get you another. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I cannot believe she came here. That's so wonderful. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Access to the AI core is restricted. How do I get to... Sue me? Where would she be at? Oh, maybe through here? <sighs> okay. Okay, so I said some don't let me, but some clearly do. Life support? Wait, what? Access to life support is restricted. Ah. Uh, support me. Support option. Men's restroom. <laughs> what does this look like? Shepard, the women's <laughs> restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. <laughs> I don't care. I go where I want. Okay, interesting. Okay, get me out of here! <laughs> Let me out. All right, port observation deck. Oh, there she is! Wow. What is all? What? What is all this stuff? Okay, let's. Uh, let, oh, I don't know what to do first. I want to examine so many things. There's a rose. What's that there for? The red rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took. I left a single red rose. Oh. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I don't know. That doesn't sound silly. That's... Oh, is that... Is that maybe him? Is that what he looked like? I stole that oh. on a dare, believe it or not. Okay. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. 
KG dared me to steal this, so I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Is this all her stuff? So she's like settled in. Good for her. That, that's a very small bed. That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. Aww. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. That's really cool. All right, uh, books. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. I wouldn't laugh at that. used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Well, I wouldn't laugh at that. That sounds awesome. Is there, what else is over here? Oh, what's that? <gasps> oh no, open back up. Wow. Okay, what else is over here? Anything? <gasps> we can drink alcohol? That feels weird. What do I... <laughs> what? Did she get some too? Am I just gonna throw it back? Drink, yeah. Nice. There you go. Alright, now what? Alright, let's go talk to her now. I think I've looked at everything. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Oh, so... I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Okay, so I guess... I guess I'll go back to... Start. Alright, where's the elevator? Alright, so... We... Did a lot. We picked up a new companion. We saw Captain Anderson. We saw Adina. Uh, and we talked to our companions. And we saw the Normandy crash site. Which was all really sad. But I think the next time we'll just try and maybe now we'll go and we'll do the It's Morden time. <laughs> That's what I keep thinking. We'll do that mission and um, we'll just go from there. So until next time.